What's going on everyone? Tiger727 with a video. It's been a while. Um, probably a good two months since I've done a video. Uh, I'm not going to make excuses. Haven't really been in the mood to make a video. Um, but I have been busy with life. But uh, So we'll get right to it. There's really no specific reason for this video. Just want to show off uh, some cards that I've picked up over the last few months. Even prior to my last video. Uh, since my last video. So you can see a couple there in front of you, the uh, John Hiller rookie and the uh, Joe Sparma 68 tops. Um, the Hiller is for my John Hiller run, uh, will also be part of my Upper Michigan collection or the UP of Michigan collection and the Joe Sparma is for my 68 tops. Um, picked up a few collections, I, well I guess you can say one's like a handful and the other one was a bunch of commons. Um, I'll just rifle through some of these. Um, these vintage ones are really, really beat up. But uh, Whitey Ford is on there. It's kind of a neat card. Jim Bunning. And this video might be a little bit long, but uh, stick around. Again, some beat up cards. Lolich, McLean. These are all part of one collection. Koufax, that's been obviously been cut. Don Drysdale. Some of them actually have like some uh, tape marks on the back. But didn't pay much for this stack at all. Frank Robinson, LK line, Tony Oliva. In all actuality, with, with some of these older cards, when they're, when they're as beat up as they are, um, kind of. You start thinking about that story that they had, you know, hanging in some kid's room or whatever. Um, Norm Cash, you see him up on the top there. But these cards, you might have been hanging on somebody's wall or who knows what. You know, who knows what the history of these cards are. It's just kind of cool. Say you have it. These were all out of, uh, that I bought from a, uh, um, a town not too far where I currently live. So a guy was just selling them on on Facebook. So I figured for the small price he was asking, why not? Had a bunch of tigers in there that I could use anyway. A lot of these cards I'm missing from my collection. And uh, obviously I forgot to take the price tag off of that, but that was about uh, half of what I paid for all of these. So... Um, Billy Williams, another Willie Mays. Of course, there's some uh, tear marks on the Mays, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Another Denny McLean, Earl Wilson. Earl Wilson's actually the only one I need now. Um, actually, this is like one of two that I need for my 68 PSA set. And last but not least from that collection, another Mays, Frank Robinson. Orlando Cepeda. Uh, where to go next? Uh, I bought a three, four boxes of commons and uh, found some odds and ends in there of some players that I collected as a kid. I never even seen these cards before. But Brian Hunter, he's one that I collected as a kid and I still do. Still PC him. Eric Karos. Raul Mondesi, never even seen these cards before until I saw them in these uh, box of commons. Brian Taylor, always collected Brian Taylor, obviously was a bust. Claver Torres, Placido Polanco, Placido Polanco, however you want to pronounce it. I've heard it three or four different ways. Another Brian Taylor. And shout out to Classic Cards over Eric, Tim Salmon, a few Tim Salmons. I've collected Tim Salmon ever since I was a kid. I did not have these. There's a minor league card. Uh, I think this is opening day. Yep. Mike Lowell is one of my favorites as a kid. Nice looking card. Another Troy, Gl or Troy Gloss. Lenny Dykstra, Nails, 
one of my favorites as a kid. Obviously, he's had a very, very checkered, uh, checkered history. A couple goose gossage. I gotta double check the backs of these to see which which variations I have. There's three of them, three variations. Jeff Conine, I collected him as a kid, minor league guard. Uh, David Mead, Rockies, uh, big time prospect. Jeff Conine again. Eric Karos again. A couple Tigers I needed for my Tiger collection. Scott Aldred with the Mud Hens. Rico Bronia with the Mud Hens. After he left Detroit, he played in Philly and uh, the Mets for a while. And then I got this uh, another Tim Salmon card. Always nice to fill holes in your collection, and I've been meaning to do this for a long, long time, and I finally picked this up a couple of weeks ago. Um, Pujols rookie. I actually bought a Bowman complete set of this set, and it, the guy that was selling it, he said the Pujols was not in it, and the Jose Reyes was not in it. Uh, so I picked up both of those cards recently, and uh, I think I bought the rest of the set for like $15 or something like that. Um, so finally picked that one up. Just at a friend's card store over the weekend. And I picked up these two cards. Nice maze and cepeda. And I decided I'm going to try working on the, uh, 76 top set so i picked up this tom siever as well pretty good condition moving into some graded stuff i'm not sure if i showed this card already uh, another desert shield Ed nunez still got a ways to go on that set uh, another part of my up collection up of michigan george brunette i need one more i think of his and I will have the full run. I actually just drove through his hometown over the weekend. Yeah. New Alloway, Michigan. 84 tops, Dan Petrie in a six. I would have liked to get better than a six, but whatever. I don't know. I'm not even sure how this card is a six, really, but I'm not all that concerned about it. Just want to get the 84 set graded. 84 and 68, the World Series years. And I mentioned filling holes. Um, I could not pass up the price. I'm going to get rid of these two other back cards back here for the focusing reasons. And I could not pass up this card for the price. Uh, I needed a Harper rookie for my 2012 update set, which I've been working on as well. And, uh, of course, it's Beckett. I know uh, Vintage Card Steve recently did a video. And, of course, I'm losing focus again. He recently did a video talking about buying something other than, you know, grade-wise, other than PSA or SGC. And so figured I'd get that. Um, and when I was at my friend's card shop, I happened to see these on his counter as I was as I was um, checking out and see if he threw the th he just threw these in. I asked if he wanted anything for him. He's like, nope, just go ahead and take them. So a nice trammel. This is 89. Yep, 89 coin, and then it also gave me the Ripken. And you know what? Just, what else do I got here? A lot more singles. Bought this uh, 52 Bowman, George Metkovich, in a pirate uniform. Slowly but surely, over my course of my life, I think I'm going to work on this set. I just really like the color in the background and the, the drawings. I just think it's a, they're great looking cards. Picked up a Van Slyke rookie. Collected him ever since I was a kid. And saw this with Billy Martin on it. Picked that up. A Joe Torre card. And then these uh, Rediscover Tops for my Tiger Collection. Did not have that one. I believe it's a gold. They got gold, bronze, and copper, I think. Uh, Jeff Weaver. This was part of a trade from Trading Card Database. 
Actually, the rest of these are all trading card database cards. Damien Easley. These following, some of these following ones are uh, for Tops Update set, I believe. This one might not be. Um, Tim Raines. A couple more Tigers here for Gallery, Higginson, and Dean Palmer. Some nice looking cards. And these are, yeah, these are from the uh, 2001 Tops Traded set. Kevin Apier, Lou Pinella, Bobby Bonilla, Brett Saberhagen, and down to the last few here, and that'll be the video. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Going on 11 minutes is a long time. Wally Joyner, just saw him do an interview on opening day. Willie Randolph. Jack Morris. And working almost to the end of my 89 upper deck set, Dennis Eckersley. So that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you later.